So uh, let's take a look at how this interactive lesson will work. I have painstakingly created this simulation where you can get a sense of how charges interact with each other. You will see there is a table, a point and lots of folders on the left text box pane. So this table stores the location and values of every charge. You can change any of them and you can even add more charges if you want and see how the shape of the electric field line changes. You can even drag them using mouse cursor if you enable this button. Then you will see a draggable point on each of the charges. Next, there is this white point. You can drag this around and see how much force this point is experiencing. The white arrow shows the magnitude and direction of the total force felt by this point. Notice how this white arrow is always tangent to the field lines. You can also see the red and blue arrows that show the components of the total force. Red arrows are the forces coming from the positive charges and blue arrows are the forces coming from the negative charges. The voltage and magnitude of the force is also written here in volts and newtons. You will see how the forces increase when you get close to any of the charge. Also notice that positive charges are repelling this point whereas negative charges are pulling this point closer to them. That is, negative charges are attracting them. You can hide these force components by clicking on the folder icon. By the way, I have labeled every folder as either on-off, modifiable or don't modify. As the name suggests, you don't have to touch the folders that have don't modify tags. In case you accidentally change it or something, just refresh the whole page and everything will be reset. Then there are these folders with on off tags. You don't have to modify anything inside these folders, just hide or unhide to see what happens. For example, Click on this folder icon to hide the arrows showing the force components. You can click on this force array folder to show the value and direction of the force at some points. But as you can see right now, everything is a little messy. That's because it's showing a lot of points along with the previously drawn field lines but you can adjust that. First, let's turn off the field lines by clicking on this folder icon. But this is still messy. That's because the arrows are quite large. Let's change that from the arrow display settings. As you can see, this has a modifiable tag. Under there, you will see a few sliders. The first one, lambda, is the length of the arrows. Let's decrease that. It might lag a bit depending on your system, since there are lots of arrows. But uh, you can change other sliders and see what happens as well. But let's leave them alone right now. I want to change the number of points shown here to reduce the clutter. For that, you need to modify points density settings. Here you will find a slider as well because this also has a modifiable tag. This D term represents the distance between each point. So if we increase the distance, few points will be shown. There are few other things as well in this graph but I have shown the general ideas and now you can actually figure out what other options you have. Uh, for example, there is equipotential lines that show the lines where the voltages are the same. So stuff like that.
just play around with this and don't worry if you change the core equations because you can always reload and everything will be reset.